What's up, party people? Jude Snowboarder here from Facebook. Uh, Facebook page, Jude's Junk, and YouTube channel, Jude's Junk, and the shop is also on the Facebook page, Jude's Junk. Haven't had to do any videos for a while, but a question came up basically to me that if you're a buyer and you have a shipper, they can do one of two things. They can ship media mail, but pack it really, really well and not worry about weight or they can ship at USPS, USPS 15. Now it's like $17 for one slab. Um, and if they don't know what they're doing, they put it in one box instead of double boxing it because those little boxes from USPS are cheap. But they, um, or if it goes by weight, then they gotta be careful how they pack it, especially overseas. So I'm curious, what, you, what would you rather have? As a buyer, do you wanna pay $5 for five slabs to come to you? but they're packed really, really well? Or as a buyer, would you rather pay $25 for five slabs and have it shipped USPS, USPS, uh, knowing that the seller might cut corners on weight, if it's not a flat rate. I think most buyers would rather have a secure, cheaper package and not worry about media mail. You can always add insurance on, whether it's media mail or USPS, so that's not an issue. That's a, a totally separate deal. And uh, I find most buyers would rather have the, the $5 insurance and packed really, really well, $5 shipping. I mean, if the seller is insuring it, no matter how it gets there, then they're responsible for getting it to the buyer. Heck, horse and buggy, uh, Paul Revere style. I once drove five, um, slabs across state borders to bring it to someone because it was cheaper than overnighting at FedEx. It's like a hundred bucks to overnight at FedEx. So I just drove over there and took a trip to the ocean. So anyways, let me know what you think. Great packaging, cheap rate, or following the rules and use USPS and pay $20 for one slab these days. Just let me know.